Hello everyone, this is the Board Game Lawyer. Today I'm going to bring you another Marvel Champions playthrough video. And of course, Marvel Champions is a product of Fantasy Flight Games. So today it's snowing outside and I'm home from work. So I decided just to have a little fun. Uh, Rocket Raccoon has been one of my favorite heroes in the game. So I want to play with him today. And of course, Rocket loves his gadgets. So we're going to pit him up against a villain who also loves his gadgets. So today we're going to play... Uh, play against and take on standard crossbones. So the handicap that I'm going to place upon myself today is that Rocket cannot use any aspect cards. So this is a bad idea? Probably. I'm also going to increase the difficulty by adding powerful minions into crossbows, uh, crossbones encounter deck. So as always, if you see anything I messed up during this playthrough video, please let me know in the comments down below. So let's get started. I'll bring our Rocket Raccoon Alter Ego into play. He has an ability, he says, Tinkering, action, choose and discard a tech upgrade you control and draw two cards. And you can do this a limit of once per round. Rocket begins with a hand size of six and nine hit points, as we can see on our dial here. Crossbones, on the other hand, he begins with 12 hit points. He has a scheme of one, an attack of one. There's a star next to his attack. It says, while Crossbones has a weapon attached, his attacks gain piercing. Discard any tough status cards from the target before dealing damage. And so, of course, all of our villains, they have their main scheme. And his is broke up into three parts. The first one is attack on Mount Athena. So we'll read the 1A side. It says, Crossbones 1 and Crossbones 2 as well as the experimental weapons and the standard encounter set. So we do have our uh, experimental weapons here. There are four of them. Energy shield, power gauntlets, exosuit, and laser rifle. So that'll be our experimental weapons. Of course, the standard set is included in my encounter deck today, and it says three modular encounter sets, Hydra Patrol, Weapon Master, and Legion of Hydra. So we're going to swap out those three um, modular sets today for the Scorpion, Electro, and Mr. Hyde. So three powerful minions in our encounter deck today. The setup says create the experimental weapons deck and set it next to the main scheme deck. All right, so then we're going to flip over to side 1B, and it reads, when revealed, reveal the top card of the experimental weapons deck. It begins with zero threat on it. So here's our experimental weapons deck. I'll go ahead and shuffle it up. And we'll set it just kind of off out of play right over here. We'll draw our first card and it is an experimental weapon. So while Crossbones has a weapon, it has a forced response. When the attached villain attacks, the attack gains ranged. Hero action, spend energy and physical resources to discard this card and it has an attack of plus one. So uh, when it has that ranged attack, that means that he cannot be hit by any uh, retaliation. Okay, and that's gonna attach to the villain. So that is Crossbones setup. We'll begin by uh, drawing up our hand size of six. So our first card that we draw is Enhanced Physique. We also draw Enhanced Awareness. We draw Lockjaw. Cybernetic Skeleton. Salvage. And Honorary Guardian. So we don't have any minion, or, or allies yet. Call them minions, but they're allies. We don't have any allies in our hands, so we'll go ahead and mulligan this card. And we'll also, well, we did have an ally, but we're going we're gonna to mulligan Lockjaw anyway. So we'll discard him. And we will also discard, let's discard Enhanced Awareness. We'll hang on to our Cybernetic Skeleton. While in hero form, Rocket Raccoon gains plus one attack. And we'll hang on to Enhanced Physique. Because... The theme here is, is that Rocket likes cash, and we're going to try to build up as much of his bank as possible. So we also uh, draw Cosmo, we draw the battery pack, and Rocket's pistol. 
Okay. So I think we'll begin by putting out that enhanced physique card. And yeah, we'll do that. That's going to be an upgrade that we put on him. Now, as it was pointed out to me in a previous video, these resources are only hero resources, so I have to exhaust enhanced physique and remove, remove one physical counter from it to, to generate a physical counter. It comes into play with three physical counters on it. So, enhanced physique is on the table. We'll spend our salvage card to put that out. It says, after you spend this card, put, put a tech upgrade from your discard pile on top of your deck. Let's see if we have one. We don't. We've got Honorary Guardian, Lockjaw, and Enhanced Awareness. And so that's just a resource card. And we will... I believe we will spend Cosmo and the battery pack to put out the cybernetic skeleton. The cybernetic skeleton says I also get plus three hit points. So Rocket Raccoon is now sitting at 12. 12 hit points, and he's plus one attack. And we'll spend the battery pack and Cosmo to do that. Now in order to use my enhanced physique to put out Rocket's Pistol, I have to first flip over to our hero side, and he says Murdered. Response, after you deal excess damage to an enemy, draw one card. Well, we're not going to be doing any excess damage on our first turn today, but it's going to cost us one resource, one enhanced physique resource, to put out Rocket's Pistol. It's restricted. It enters play with three charge counters on it, and it has a hero action, Attack. Exhaust Rocket's Pistol and remove one charge counter from it to deal two damage to an enemy. All right, so we'll set that there for now. It'll come into play with three charge counters on it. And we'll go ahead and use it. Exhaust Rocket's Pistol, remove one charge counter from it and deal two damage to an enemy. So we'll do that two damage to crossbones, knock him down to 10. And then uh, we'll use Rocket's attack. So he has an attack of one plus one from his cybernetic skeleton. And so we'll exhaust him to do two more damage to crossbones. So we've knocked him down to eight already. And that's our first turn. So we'll ready our enhanced physique. Ready Rocket Raccoon. Ready our pistol. We'll have our we'll just put our cybernetic skeleton right next to Rocket here. Keep track of that. And then we'll draw up our hand size of six. Nope, five this time. So we have reload. We draw a battery pack. We draw the mockingbird. Enhanced awareness and another enhanced awareness. Okay, so those are five cards going into our next turn. Crossbones takes his turn, so he's gonna first place one threat on attack on Mount Athena. Crossbones is going to attack Racket Raccoon, so he has an attack of one. While a weapon is attached, it gains he gains piercing and plus one for attack, so he's one, two, three, four attack. Onto Rocket. It's going to take Rocket down to eight. Just look and see through my hand here what I've got. And then we're going to draw our encounter card. So our first encounter card is Crossbones Machine Gun. Attached to Crossbones uses two ammo counters. Forced Interrupt. When Crossbones attacks you, remove one ammo counter from this card and discard the top card of the encounter deck. Take indirect damage equal to the number of boost icons on the discarded card. So it is a forced interrupt, so it says when he attacks you. So it's going to interrupt, and we get to determine where we want to take this indirect damage immediately whenever he attacks. So we'll set that next to his, his uh, laser rifle over there. And that will end Crossbone's turn. 
Let's see what we can do. So we have Mockingbird. After Mockingbird enters play, stun an enemy. That may not be a bad thing to do. Huh. Can we remove that laser rifle? We can generate one physical resource. Do we have any others that we can use? No, I don't think so. But I think what we'll do, though, is we're going to bring Mockingbird out into play. All right, so we're going to spend one resource, the Enhanced Physique, to bring Mockingbird into play and two more resources. So we'll spend that Enhanced Awareness, both of those, plus that one for Enhanced Physique to bring Mockingbird into play. And she's going to stun Crossbones. Ready each tech upgrade you control, or we can play interplay with two charge counters on it. Exhaust uh, this to add another tech upgrade to add exhaust battery pack. Move a charge counter from this card to another tech upgrade you control. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and spend the one resource to put the battery pack up. Well, you know what? We really do need to get rid of that laser rifle. Maybe next turn. We'll just put the battery pack out for now. So the battery pack comes onto the table with two charge counters on it. Rocket's pistol goes off to do two damage to crossbones. So that'll knock him down to six. We'll exhaust our battery pack to recharge Rocket's Pistol. We'll exhaust Mockingbird to do another damage to Crossbones. I forgot to put the two ammo counters over there on his machine gun. Better do that. Rocket Raccoon with plus one attack is going to attack Crossbones to knock him down to three. Mockingbird took one consequential damage for that attack. And I think that's all we can do this turn. So we'll ready Rocket Raccoon. We're going to ready his Enhanced Physique. Ready his Blaster Pistol. Ready his Battery Pack. Up goes Mockingbird. Drop our hand size of five. So we have Genius. We draw an Honorary Guardian. I've got a plan. After you make a basic thwart using your thwart, ready Rocket Raccoon. Rocket gets plus one thwart while in hero form until the end of the phase. That's how that one works. His thruster boots. And then I've got another plan. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got as far as re resources are concerned. Okay. Crossbones takes his turn. Attack on Mount Athena. And he's stunned, so he won't be doing any attacking right now. No attacking, and we'll draw our encounter card. Our encounter card is a tail sweep. When revealed, Scorpion attacks your hero. If no attack was made this way, you are stunned. No Scorpion on the table, so we're just simply stunned. Okay. Next, it's Rocket's turn. So, do I want to remove that experimental weapon? I think I do. So I'm going to exhaust our enhanced physique. Now, well, before I do that, let's go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and blast at, at Crossbones. We're going to spin one on Rocket's pistol. To do two damage to Crossbones. One, two. So Crossbones stage one is down to zero. He's removed. Crossbones two says, while Crossbones has a weapon attachment, his attacks gain piercing. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for Crossbones machine gun and attach it to Crossbones shuffle the encounter deck. 
So Crossbones machine gun is already on the table, so we didn't have to search our encounter deck to find it. So we ignored that trigger as a result. All right, so he comes into play with 14 hit points on him. Let's, after you make a basic thwart action, ready rocket raccoon, rocket gets plus one thwart while in hero form until the end of the phase. Thruster boots. Honorary guardian. Let's go ahead and take care of that experimental weapon now by exhausting our enhanced physique. So we lose one counter from that, which will send it to the discard pile. And we will use also the Honorary Guardian card, because it has that energy icon on it. And Experimental Weapons is gone. So all he has left is his cr machine gun. I think what we'll do next is we will, I've got a plan, after you make a basic thwart, exhaust, okay, so this is an event, so we're going to do I've got a plan, we're going to play it after you make a basic thwart, so we'll thwart with rocket to remove two threat from the attack on Mount Athena. And then we'll use that I've got a plan to ready him. And he gets plus one thwart while in hero form. So we'll ready him back up. We're going to clear that stun card. So we'll attack, but we won't do any damage because stun is cleared now. We'll exhaust the battery pack. And we'll send that over to his pistol. Mockingbird is going to attack Crossbones. That'll knock him down to 13. We've got Thruster Boots. While in Hero Form, Rocket gets plus one thwart and gains the aerial trait. And I can spend, I can use two money to spend on that. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to discard Thruster Boots. We'll hang on to that two genius resources, and we'll draw up our hand size after we ready everything. Ready Rocket Raccoon. Ready the rocket Rocket's Pistol. Our battery pack. Hmm. Yep, I think that's what we'll do. And we'll just draw up our hand size of five. So we have enhanced physique. We have enhanced reflexes. Schadenfreude. Till the end of the turn, heal two damage from Rocket Raccoon each time you deal any amount of damage to an enemy. And another enhanced physique. So those are our five cards going into our next turn. Of course, Mockingbird took one consequential damage that turn because she did one damage to Crossbones. So Crossbones is going to attack first. Rocket Raccoon, but we're going to, uh, when Rocket, when, you got to put one threat first on attack of Mount Athena. When Crossbones attacks, you remove one ammo counter from this card and discard the top card of the encounter deck. Take indirect damage equal to the number of boost icons on the discarded card. So there's two boost icons on Electro here. So we'll take two damage. Rocket's going to take both of, both of them, take him down to six. Uh, while Crossbones has a weapon attached, his, he gains piercing. I'm not tough, but I do think Mockingbird's going to try to jump out in front of that attack from Crossbones. So he draws a star, give the villain a tough status card. If you cannot, heal three damage instead, so he can be tough if he wants. And that did... Two damage to Mockingbird, which knocks her out of the round. Goes to the discard pile. All right. Let me 
we're going to draw our encounter card, and it reads, the villain attacks you. So Rocket has six right now. We do have to draw a card because with the uh, Crossbones machine gun, it's another attack. So let's... We've only got one plus one defense, so if he hits us big, we're probably gone anyway. So let's see what we draw here. We draw a one, so we do take one damage from that attached to crossbones. Two ammo counters. It's gone. Take one damage. And crossbones is going to attack rocket for zero plus two. So that knocks him down to three. I figured we were probably going to have to flip to our alter ego form on our next turn anyway, and that's fine. Schadenfreude. At the end of the turn, heal one damage from Rocket. We got the gun here. We could attack to knock off that tough card. Or, tell you what. He'll do damage. Each time you deal any amount of damage to... Okay, so let's do that. We'll spend two to put out Enhanced Physique. Comes into play with three counters on it. We'll use our Genius card to do that. Three Physique counters. And then we'll spend an Enhanced Physique and a counter, two resources to play Schadenfreude. Until the end of the turn, heal two damage from Rocket each time you deal any amount of damage to an enemy. So we'll exhaust the pistol do two damage to crossbones, but it's all it's going to do is knock off his tough card, so there's no damage dealt, but then Rocket Raccoon can do two damage to crossbones, so that'll knock him down to 11. And we'll flip Rocket Raccoon over to his Alter Ego form. Tinkering, choose any, choose and discard any tech upgrade you control and draw two cards. So Schadenfreude is done. We'll discard our battery pack to draw two cards to add to our hand. We have Enhanced Reflexes, Iron Heart, and Reload. So we could bring Iron Heart out onto the table. I think we will. We'll spend two resources to do that. That allows me to draw another card. And we draw an Energy card. Iron Heart's going to attack Crossbones. Knocks him down to 10, and she places, she gets one consequential damage for doing so, and we'll ready Ironheart, we'll ready Rocket Raccoon, Alter Ego form, we'll ready his pistol, Enhanced Physique, we'll drop our hand size of 6, we have Energy, the power in all of us, Nick Fury, Groot, Strength, and Salvage. So lots of money going into our next turn. And that's probably something that we're going to need. So Attack on a Mount Athena gets one threat. We're going to Scheme for two plus zero. But that'll... Finish off stage 1B, attack on Mount Athena. That will reveal to us the Infinity Stone 2A. Inside the Project Pegasus facility, shield agents fight desperately to prevent Hydra from obtaining the Reality Stone stored within. It flips over to the Infinity Stone. It says, when revealed, reveal the top card of the Experimental Weapons deck. All right, and it starts with threat of one. So our experimental weapons deck, that reveals to us a exosuit attached to the villain. Hero action, spend 
all the different types of resources to discard this card. It's a plus one, plus one scheme and attack. So that's going to attach to crossbones. All right. Okay. All right, very good. And then we uh, have to draw our encounter card. So our encounter card reads, Crossbones Assault. When defeated, Crossbones activates against the player who defeated this scheme. It comes into play with two thread on it. And it's got one acceleration icon on it. All right. So let's take a look and see what we've got in our hand to start our next turn. Of course, we still got Rocket's Pistol on the table. Rocket's plus one attack. We have Iron Heart on the table. We have a Nick Fury in our hand, and we have a Groot in our hand. Let's see how much damage we can do. So after you play Nick Fury from your hand, you can do four damage to an enemy. So that's four. Plus he has two attack. That's six. We've got two attack with Rocket. We've got uh, two attack with Rocket's pistol. There's ten attack right there. So we should be able to defeat Crossbones this turn. So we'll spend four resources to put out Nick Fury. Nick Fury is going to enter play to do four damage to an enemy. So four resources to do four damage to crossbones. One, two, three, and four. Takes us down to six. Rocket's going to flip to his hero side. He's going to do two damage to Crossbones. His pistol goes off to do two damage to Crossbones. And then if Nick Fury takes a swipe, then that's going to knock Crossbones all the way down to zero. I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get a chance to see more of our big minions this game. We still have Mr. Hyde hidden in our deck. And the scorpion was hidden in there. So Rocket brought out his basic friends today and did some quick work on the crossbones. So thanks for watching this playthrough video today. Uh, today's video was brought to you by the letter K. We kicked crossbones butt. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can shoot me an email at boardgamelawyer at gmail.com. I'd like to thank you again for watching today. Please be careful out there, and I hope to bring you another video again very soon.